series of three in which we are discussing how to construct blues turnarounds, how they're made up. Uh, in the process, I'll play a few examples, you'll be able to uh, have something straight away to play from those, but the main thing will be for you to learn how to construct them yourself. Now what I've just played in that uh, little, little uh, solo then was some examples of the concepts that we're going to be discussing. They are namely, they are uh, target tones. What's a target tone? Secondly, chromaticism. How to play notes chromatically. A target tone is a tone that you target. A tone is a note or of a certain pitch. That's a certain pitch. That's a certain pitch. That's a certain pitch. That's a certain pitch. If that is a target tone, that's where I want to end my melody. There's a little melody there. It's got a tension part and a resolving part, a relaxing part. We target the relaxing part. We finish it. We resolve it. Okay? Let's have a look at how we do that within the context of a blues turnaround. Let's look at the last four bars of your blues, right? We go the five chord, four chord, one chord, Of G, so that's D, C, G, back to D again. Okay? D is on the seventh fret, G is on the fifth fret, open is the tonic chord or the one, the G, and then we finish back on the five. This part, the first two bars, that's not part of the turnaround. Care what anyone else says, it's not part of the turnaround. Someone says go to the turnaround, they often mean you to go to there, but that's not what you should do. The turnaround is the last two bars, okay? On the G, and back to the five on the D, okay? And the simplest of turnarounds, okay? We're going to, in our next video, uh, look at ways to make that a lot more complex, but for now, it's, it's those two chords, but it's still the last two bars, right? The D at the end is important, the five chord, that's the, what we call the dominant. Why is it important? Because it leads us to there. Okay, there's the three chord, uh, three string, three chord course on, the, on my website that talks all about the five chord, the four chord, the one chord, and the function of the dominant. So let's have a look at that to start with, right? The very last chord in your blues. For now, we've got, there's only three notes, or two notes. We repeat the one, the D, and then the five chord in the D chord, which is an A. So if we're going to end our turnaround on a strong note that ends on the D chord, then we need, if we end on one of those notes, we're going to be laughing. We're going to be approaching a tone that is a strong tone. Okay? If we approach it chromatically, we do something like this. We play all the notes in the chromatic scale up to that note. We haven't looked at chromaticism yet, have we? That's a chromatic scale. That's just all the notes all the white keys and black keys on the piano, all the notes, if you've got frets, it's just one fret after the other. It's just chromatic, it's just all of them, as opposed to diatonic, which is notes from a particular scale. Okay, so to target a target, to target a target tone chromatically, it just means approach it one note at a time, from, from either direction. Okay, so that, that's what you can do in the last bar. And 
the second last bar, we've got a G chord, right? G and the D in the last bar, the last bar. Now, that D note there is the fifth note in the G chord. So, we can also approach it on the G chord as well, right? Don't believe me? There's a D there. That's the when you tune G D G one five one. That note in the middle is a D chord. They're an octave apart um, because it's the same note, right? So we can approach them. We can use that as a target note for a G chord because it's part of the chord. Right? Now, so let's have a look at this sort of turnaround on, on the G note on the G chord. Approach that D note there over the G chord, and then another chromatic run over the D chord to get to the D chord. Now, now I can approach it from here or from here. Let's have a look at that. Okay. Now what I what I was doing there was. playing with the rhythm, right? Now, we did that in the previous um, video. I'll leave that up to you. You can see how I'm applying it here just by listening. We don't have time to go through every little thing. Right? Um, the main thing is target notes and approaching them chromatically. What are the other target notes in G? Okay. There's notes on the website where I explain it, but for now, you have to take my word for it. There's that one, the open, the fourth, fret or fourth position in between the two dots there, that's the third note, the fifth note we've talked about already, and the flat seven on the tenth fret. Okay? If you approach any of those notes chromatically over that one chord, you'll be laughing. Let's have a listen on the seven one here. Okay? Or I can come from the top. is much more difficult up than the higher up you get so um, that's what happened there the target notes on this D string for your G chord right which is really where most of the action is in the turnaround are here the five chord the five note on open the flat seven note on the third position tonic with a 1 on the 4th position, 5th position I beg your pardon, that's the 4 chord there, it's the 5th position, notice that that's the same note as that, if I was in tune, uh, ok so we're open, 3rd, 5th, now on the ninth fret, ninth position we have the 3rd chord in G, and again clearly on the 12th fret everything's the same as it was back here. I'm rushing through this a bit now because we've got to get to the end of the video and I just want to give you the information. So it's information overload, don't panic. Okay. Rewind the video, find those car find those target tones, okay? Hold there and there and experiment with approaching them from below or above chromatically one note at a time. Let's see, there you go. There'll be examples um, on the website eventually. I haven't got around to that yet. So if you're real quick, you might not get them, but if you just give me a couple of days, I'll get them. And um, see how you go. Just have, have a play around with those different ways of getting to uh, the, the different notes in your in your turn around chord. Remember that most of the action happens there on the G and, and that's a common way to get up to the D chord. Okay. Alright, good luck with that.